Welcome back guys, this is Crazy Walder. I know I haven't uploaded stuff for kind of a while. I'm going to do another do-it-yourself video today and in this video I'm going to be focusing on car chargers and specifically how to make your regular car charger um, into a fast charger so you'll actually be able to get your phone uh, your phone's battery to charge much faster when you're in your car and also potentially when you're just charging it uh, for example from your local power outlet as well. So what you're going to need is obviously you're going to need your USB car charger. In this case I'm using a NASDAQ one. Um, now what you're also going to need, and I don't have my tools in front of me right now, but basically uh, two small flathead screwdrivers and also a soldering iron. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and just basically pry this guy open starting from the tips right here where um, you have these metal pieces and then just slowly work your way around until it just pops apart. Now, what you're going to see is inside, next to the USB ports, there's going to be four connections. And I'm going to throw some pictures up on the screen right now so you can see what connections you need to look for. And what you're going to do is basically go ahead and get your soldering iron and some flux and just bridge the two connections in the center. That way, what it's going to basically do is get rid of the data connections and allow for straight AC charging. So therefore, you're going to be sending just you know straight electricity at a higher current to your device. Now this is important because for car chargers they don't really have any use sending data over to your phone therefore this is a much faster way to charge your phone. Now in some cases you may need to have some extra cooling and possibly make some holes in your device um, just so that it doesn't end up overheating. What you can also do instead of just bridging the connection is you can get a 200 ohm resistor and put it in place um, where you would have otherwise just soldered. Um, you basically bridge the connections using the resistor that way. And the next thing, and this is pretty important, is actually the cable. And this is going to make a huge difference as well. So in my case, you know, I have this guy and I'm going to put the link to this cable in the description, although this isn't really an ideal cable. But basically what you want is something that's much thicker than the stock cable you have um, that came with your phone or with your car charger because that will allow you to charge the phone significantly faster. You can read about why that is online, but that's basically how it works. What I found is that the monoprice cables online, they actually list their gauges, so you'll be able to get yourself a really thick cable. Um, there's also something called a sonic cable, which just came out, I believe, which allows you to switch between data mode and direct charge mode and it's a really thick nice cable pretty advanced and uh, you can have them for not very much and those will actually allow you to charge your phone faster without having an adapter like this so if you plug it into your computer um, you have a really thick cable to charge your phone with without needing your faster turbo charger for example so hopefully this video helped you guys out again you know feel free to follow me on facebook i've got a g plus as well and i'll have more videos coming at you guys soon so take care until next time